Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. Today in School for Elders, I have a very beautiful, motivating, inspiring and amazing story of Frank McCott. Frank McCott uh, is, was an American and Irish American teacher and writer. Yes, my dear friends. Um, and the story is really inspiring because he has come he has left his education at the age of 13 so you might be wondering how he became teacher right and writer so we'll come to that so uh, what happened to him at the very young age his father denied uh, the family to support with finances um, in fact he was very he was uh, suffering from typhoid at the age of 11 and he was almost about to die but god survived i mean if God's will uh, is there, so you can survive any situation, they say, right? So the thing is, uh, he survived that situation. And uh, the responsibility being an eldest kid uh, was on him to support the family. He used to steal food to support the family to his younger brothers and uh, younger siblings and his mother. So he used to, uh, he has left the education at the age of 13 because no one was paying the fees and all so he used to uh, deliver telegrams and he used to deliver uh, magazines and all he just generated certain money and he used to support his family also then uh, what happened suddenly he just saved some money and he just left uh, Ireland and he went to America there also he did certain work certain jobs whichever was uh, available then uh, he just uh, started studying also there side by side and he has completed his graduation at the age of 27 yes my dear friends at the age of 27 and he just uh, uh, taught in many schools yes he taught in many many schools and uh, uh, in six schools of america yes and after that he completed his post graduation at the age of 37 just imagine at the age of 37 he uh, has just completed his uh, post graduation and after that he has completed his phd and on his retirement at the age of 67 he has written a book on his life angela's ashes and this book has won pulitzer prize just imagine my dear friends from ireland if he would have died if he would have not survived if he would have just left all hopes if you would have not stolen food to eat right so uh, would 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 be be discussing his story right now isn't it inspiring i'll be posting the link in the description box it's not easy life is not an easy journey for him it is quite challenging but he has accepted all the challenges with open arms so uh, so i will just give you one wellness mantra today uh, based on his story also only i mean I, I i also got really inspired and i got so many wellness mantras First thing is that uh, you should always uh, accept all the situations. You just acknowledge, right, that yes, you are in mud and you just get out of that and change your vibration. Second is uh, the wellness mantra which I have for you today is, uh, actually I was reading everywhere about so many uh, big personalities and how they achieve the great heights and everything. You know, whenever, uh, whosoever is a famous personality or celebrated, right, they always used to look up. I told you to look up, but look up with your hands up, right? I mean, hands up in the air. Just try doing this for certain, for maybe two times in the morning and in the afternoon or in the, in the night, right? And celebrate your life every day. This day will never come. I'm the youngest, I know, I'm the youngest today, right? <laughs> for the rest of my life. So just think that tomorrow you will be one year elder. From whatever you are today so today is a day of celebration celebrate every day you just need to declare it to universe that i'm gonna celebrate every day just see you will become celebrity <laughs> right the ones who celebrate get celebrated that's become celebrity that's how the words are right and word cast spell so just celebrate your life each moment so look up and keep your hands up in the air and celebrate your life story celebrate your life celebrate your life every day right so that's the wellness mantra so and that's the inspiring story so please keep on sharing these wellness mantras with someone who really need it and keep on sharing uh, these inspiring stories for with someone who uh, really needs such motivation right uh, and wellness mantras are very much required because people are getting in depression by looking down 
because uh, they are just looking at their mobile phones or their computer screens like this and um, as per science neurology your brain uh, waves uh, and your body language um, is connected to your brain waves so keep your body language held keep your head held high right so keep your body language in such a manner that you are celebrated right and you are uh, fantabulous in whatever you do right so just avoid your mobile phone usage as much as possible and see the changes in your brain happening right so thank you so much for all your love for all your motivation for all your encouragement uh, gratitude always bye bye take care